Hi, I'm here at Cable's Next Gen Conference. I've got Asaf with me. So Asaf, we've, we've seen uh, churn continue to rise in the industry. What can operators do to prevent these losses and maintain profitability? And, and they all are facing more competition at the same time. That's a lot for them to take on. Absolutely. Uh, keeping subscribers and reducing churn is, is the most valuable thing any operator or service provider can do. It's the most valuable asset that you need to keep. So reliability, everybody expects broadband and internet to be a utility, something that's right. always on. You know, the, the lights might go off, but the internet needs to work. So that's one piece of it. And of course, speed. We hear about the different requirements for speed, whether it's the FCC or, or symmetric or being competitive and the different options there. There's so many options out there. And, and at the end of the day, it's about optionality within your footprint on how to keep those subscribers happy because you have a variety of subscribers in your network, so having the ability to have that optionality in the different services they could provide and the different speeds they could provide at the right price with agility is, is incredibly important. So I'm hearing reliability, um, uh, what speed. Was speed, and flexibility, yep. or option, and lots of options That's there. a great summary, yeah, that's exactly okay. right. Great. Yeah. Um, so what are some key factors to take into consideration when undertaking a network evolution? We've heard a lot today about all the um, steps operators are taking to um, evolve their network. What, what are some of the key suggestions you have? Well, at this show, it's been great because when we're talking about 4.0 or increasing the upstream speeds, everybody's gave the same lesson learned across different panelists, which we totally agree with. Start with DAA. DAA is a great first step and you need to start to be able to get to where you're going. The other piece of it is virtualization. With field experience and operational practices and, and being able to have the maturity and reliability of a virtual CMTS, which we've been doing now for, shoot, since 2016, we have a lot of experience in understanding okay. those things that allow you to make your network future ready for the different options that are in front of you. What I'm hearing too is there's these different steps and there's not uh, it seems like every operator is kind of doing a different way. There's like a lot of different choices, yeah. I guess, is what I'm hearing today. There are a lot of choices, and the most important choices are the ones that re reduce or remove regrettable spend. So the money you spend today carries forward in the future. So a virtualized solution, a broadband access solution that allows you to have fiber to the home, that allows you to have DOCSIS 3.1, DOCSIS 4.0, and potentially other access solutions that leverage that edge compute that Elad talked about earlier today in, in the Comcast keynote. Those are all things that put everything together that give that future readiness into your network. Right. Um, so we've heard, as I was just mentioning, we've heard a lot of uh, industry leaders today question the future of DOCSIS and the path to fiber. Is there kind of a line to be drawn <laughs> in the sand, or how, how, where do you weigh in on that debate? Both. They're, okay. uh, they're, they're both great. They both serve a need. We heard there are situations where there's only coax. There's not going to be fiber. There are situations where fiber in a greenfield environment or a brownfield environment is advantageous. There's an environment where, where you have a node that supports both. So you can actually do the, the DOCSIS and pull somebody off and give them fiber to the home services. So uh, for, for me, there isn't necessarily a competition when you have the solutions that allow the operator to actually choose between those two things and actually to migrate between them. So you could start heavy in one, yeah. add 3.1, go to 4.0, maybe jump to fiber, and then use a virtualized core to give you that flexibility in your existing infrastructure in your existing in investments to let your, your footprint and your network grow as it needs to grow. So future readiness is a, is a big component and it should address the ability to do either style or either type of access architecture. So it sounds like flexibility and future proofing are key for any operator right now. And with software, it's such an enabler, uh, a software defined network or a software capable device that has all those capabilities really is that launching pad for having the ability to do that. Great. Thank you for talking to me today. It was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. It was.